Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Moodle for Teachers. I'm going to go into install plugins into Microsoft Team, Team for three points. There's 365, uh, Microsoft Block. I'm kind of cautious about Microsoft because um, you need to pay Teams meeting. Okay, let's get that. Or you need to pay to get the most of the plugins, even though they're free, but you need to pay, so I'm kind of hesitant about that. But let's install Teams. All right, so we're talking about this Moodle site, still 3.6, because I like the themes that I have so much, which is why I'm not making any changes, but I will. I definitely will try again. Okay, continue. Okay, so I'm adding Teams meeting. I see that it's uh, compatible with Auto which is what I use anyways, which is fine, which means that it's connected to the editor. That should be interesting. Okay, so I see that I also have to install game. Okay, so let's go with both and hopefully everything will be fine. Generally, it's good to uh, update, upgrade one plugin at a time and not too many at once. It's also draining on the system and you never know when things go wrong. So it's advisable to do install one plugin at a time so next continue okay notice uh, this is uh, an M stream I'll have to check it out the location it looks like it's not completely free but it belongs to an organization so I'm going to sign in I have to figure out how I'm gonna sign in so it doesn't cost me anything so uh, I'm gonna sign in with um, yeah let's start with this one I signed in. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not, but um, there it is, whatever. Okay, and this is the date, and I can create invalid subject. Okay, I need a subject, so I'm going to call it test. Okay, create. So I don't know what I'm creating, but hopefully this will work. Okay, we'll uh, try it out because it says e innovation, i.e., stream. Okay. So I created a meeting, join, I'm going to copy it, click on join. Okay, so I'm joining a Teams Microsoft, open Microsoft Teams. Okay, so there it is. I'm opening it. Download, I need to download the Mac. I wonder if I have it or not. I must have downloaded it at some point. Okay, so something's coming up, meeting now. Okay, uh, join, I'll add my name. All right, so Nelly, I think that's enough. Join now. And it's moving, which is interesting because that's what happened with Google Meet too. It kind of jumps, uh, which is funny. All right, so at least it's got my the right camera. And um, I presume this would be the recording. There's the video, custom set, unknown. Okay, that's fine. Screen. Screencast-O-Matic. That would be nice if I could join that. Oh, I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. Okay, yes, I'm... Um, so let's see, device setup, custom. Screencast-O-Matic is the speaker. So I'm speaking through Screencast-O-Matic. Make a test call, USB camera. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. Okay, so... Uh, oops, I closed something. I can rejoin. Okay, I closed and I rejoined and everything seems to be fine. So hi there, everybody. Okay, so let me close. Okay, and I'm going to, um, I don't know, I'll just go back, learn about Teams. Might want to learn about that. Continue on this browser. Oh, that's good. So I don't need installation. I can continue on the browser, which I think is what I basically, no, I didn't. Okay, so let's see, allow. Okay, okay, so now it's in the browser. I like that. So I can have the audio enter my name again. Okay, so the audio says off, and now it's on. Someone in the meeting should let you in soon. Yeah, but I'm the one that created this. Okay, all right, got it. Okay, all right, so I have no idea what's going on. Let's go back to um, our Moodle and see where this is happening. So uh, I'm in, let's uh, go into the course, live online virtual engagement. Okay, we're going to go into the course. Um, I don't know if I have to turn editing on since I'm in as the admin, but let's turn it on anyways. All right, and let's go into Microsoft Team Week. 
and see what's going on here. Okay, let's turn it on again. I don't know why it turned off. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, let's see what we can do here. Okay, let's um, add an activity sharing cart we don't want. Okay, so let's see if the um, if the meet is here. Okay, so I don't see Microsoft as here, nor is it here. So it could be a block. I have no idea where it is. So just checking, see if there's anything new there. Okay, so it's not there. It could be a block. Let's see if it's a block of some kind. And maybe I need to enable it. All right, so let's just write it down. We're looking at uh, Teams. Okay, so it's Microsoft Teams. And I think it was a block. Okay, so let's see. That's just Teams in general. Uh, oh, yeah, right. It was under Auto. Right, so let's see if it's here, if I have to enable it. There it is. All right. So Teams Settings. Okay, so it's in the editor. And I'm on Chrome, so that should be fine because most things, okay. All right, so it's under Auto and it's enabled. So let's go back into the course and, uh, and see if um, we can add it. Okay, so we'll just add a label. All right, so there it is. Let's add a label to try it out under the editor, Auto. Okay, so there it is. It's on the editor. It's, that's, that's huge. That's going to be amazing. Okay, so let's open it up. And this is our Auto. I noticed that it's enabled, but I don't see it. I don't see Teams here. So um, that's Poodle down here. So let's see if we do need to enable it. So let's go back to Auto. Okay, this is Learning by Discovery. So notice there's Tiny MCE and there's the Auto. So if we go into the settings for Auto, which I use by default, by the way, you can ha you have a choice if you go into your preferences, you can choose whatever editor you wish okay so microsoft teams their teams meeting is here and i guess it should be enabled but let's make sure that it is okay we'll just see if it's here anywhere or we'll just add it we'll just add it but it's under teams meeting okay let's look for poodle we can just the question is where to add it i'm just going to add it anywhere i think that recording files not really a file insert there poodle i'm going to put it under others so there is a comma i'll add it there save changes and cross your fingers that it doesn't give me an error and it's going to go in so it's not enough to have it listed you need to actually add it if it doesn't if it isn't added automatically if it is if it, there's a double it'll just let you know that there's an error so let's see i don't think there's an error because it went through all right, so let's go back into the course. Now, this is for admin, by the way. Nobody else can uh, enable or disable or install plugins. I mean, managers of a site cannot do this. So this is uh, only available to the admins. So it's really fun to be an admin of a Moodle site. You should really get your Moodle out there and do it. If you'd like my help, I'll be very happy to help. You can host Moodle for free on Nomeo. It's not that great, but you can do it. Okay, you know, now that I know where it is, I'm just going to add it to the section here. Okay, under our section for next week, actually. Okay, it's not this week. It's starting Wednesday. So I'm just going to add it here to the... Uh, okay, here we go. Let's just add it here open up my editor which is auto by default and here it is all right so that's how it's done a little bit of troubleshooting there uh, on my side okay which is always a good thing so here it is it's right there in the editor which is really neat okay so uh, let's do it down here so anybody can actually open a class which is nice it's like Jitsi these are really nice tools so this is what it looks like open a new window okay you saw that before you need to sign in and that's how it's done and this is truly bringing in educators and students together so I went in I mean I've got a few accounts on Microsoft I have no idea which one I use but okay it might be the organization one and then I belong to a few organizations 
through the University of Phoenix, which also uses Microsoft. So then I'm going to, it says add the link. So I guess the link is here, create a new meeting. So I'm, let's try both. Okay, invalid. Oh, I need the subject. So um, okay, I'm still going to call it test. Okay, create. And then remember, I want to add the link uh, down here. And I hope that's going to enable me to do that. Okay, so we're waiting for that to happen. So you need to have an account on Microsoft. But I'm not sure if you need to have an organization, in other words, a school or not, where you have to pay. Because Microsoft is not free. hope you realize that. So notice what I get here. The meeting test was created successfully. Go to meeting or meeting options. And here it says add link. So I guess this is the link. So um, add link. And then I can have it right here. Is that it? I can have the meeting right here. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Wow. That is super. Okay. So let me save it and see how this looks. Or I, should, I could have gone to the meeting. Okay. So I just added the link. I think that's how you share the link. Or you go straight into the meeting. So that's a very long link. It doesn't look too appealing. Okay, so here, open Microsoft Teams. And notice what it says here, join on the web instead. And I think that I always prefer on the web. Okay, so here it's coming up. It's called test. I wonder how long I can keep it because I didn't have any time feature. Okay, join. All right, so that's it. Um, didn't I see my face there before? Um, okay, so, oh, there I am, <laughs> okay, that's so funny. All right, so that's it, that's how you do it, and looking forward to seeing everyone on Teams, Microsoft Teams. Okay, so, um, I don't feel like I'm on my, oh, I am, okay, I just wanted to make sure that, okay, so there's the link, I guess, same link that you can get from your browser window over there, okay, so that's that's great okay, so let's just get rid of this video and I should get a photo there I just have to figure out which account I'm in all right let me know how it goes try it out have fun and um, see you next week when we work and you work when we all work on Microsoft team so let's go back to our course okay this is uh, live online virtual engagement course started on april 1st it's a two months long course completely free for educators worldwide really exciting based on teamwork and hands-on so it's about doing and reflect subscribe to my channel if you want more information about teaching remotely teaching online face-to-face, -face, integrating technology into your classes and so on. Watch my videos and subscribe. Thank you.